Wednesday is Monday and I have the day off. My school is closed, which means no class, but also I work for my school, so no class and no work. Anyway, I hope that those of you who celebrate Easter enjoyed whatever you did to celebrate. As I mentioned last week, my brother came into town on Tuesday. He left yesterday after we got up and did breakfast or lunch, late breakfast. Having my brother here and my birthday and then the fact that I'm actually going out of town this coming weekend has left me in complete vacation mode in my brain. We have one day off and yet I have two weeks of mental vacation mode. I like actually cannot afford to blow off my life to the extent that I have been lately. I just cannot get my brain to like check back in. So that's a problem. Anyway, since Josh drove to Paris and therefore had a car here, we decided it would be fun to take a little road trip since I actually have not really seen much else in France besides Paris. Josh wanted to go somewhere kind of along the coast and so I asked Gaëlle for suggestions and she suggested says Saint-Malo, 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 English pronunciation, Saint-Malo. This was an absolutely stellar recommendation, so thank you very much for that. We had a blast. The drive itself was absolutely lovely in spite of the massive traffic that we hit on our way out there. It was absolutely fantastic to be in a car again. I cannot even begin to explain the amount of road trip withdrawal that I have been experiencing here. It was still pretty chilly there, but otherwise absolutely lovely. Aside from the fantastic view from our hotel that I showed you in the beginning, the old walled city was neat and we maybe had a little bit of an adventure with my brother attempting to scale a wall, but that merits its own video later. <laughs> anyway, the trip was fun, the food was delicious, we went to Sanchez for ice cream at Gail's suggestion and it was heavenly. Mostly it was just really fun to get out and hang out with my brother and see new stuff. Even though I am actually going back to the US this upcoming weekend, it was still amazing to get that little piece of home. My adventures aside, this week we are attempting to do a sort of the Expat Chronicles book club thing. So once a month we're just going to talk about books that we're reading right now. In the way of slightly more accessible reading that I would recommend to people who are not currently attending master's degree programs in global communications, Henry Jenkins' Convergence Culture, Mary Lessig, Remix, this. Um, my running joke is that I'm actually getting a master's degree in YouTube. I am also reading The Good Man, Jesus and the Scoundrel Christ by Philip Pullman on my tablet. The books in the His Dark Material series are some of my all-time favorites, so this book has been on my to-read list for a really long time. Short synopsis is that it reimagines the birth of Jesus if Mary had had twins named Jesus and Christ. It retells a number of stories from the Bible with these two different characters, and it's actually very, very interesting. I really enjoy it. Philip Pullman is fantastic. I mean, it's no His Dark Materials, but like, I'm about two thirds of the way done. I will probably finish it tonight. It's fairly short. I'm enjoying it. Brittany, you have actually already done a video here showing us books. So I don't know what to say except that you now get to do it again. Oh, actually, I used to be fairly anti e reader because I just really like books. I'm not going to be the one to get into the magic of physical books. I imagine you guys all know exactly what I'm talking about. But before I left to come here, it was a really big deal because I couldn't figure out what I would bring, what books will come with me, what books have to stay. I actually did end up having to get digital versions of some of my favorite books. So Brittany, as the, your countdown is on for your departure to Germany, have you begun to think about what you will do when it comes time to pack or not pack certain books? How will you choose? What will you do? These are the great struggles of expat life.